Last time we have saved data with the player prefs class. I told you not to do that. Now let's move on to properly saving persistent data in Unity. I've already teased it last time. We're going to use the JSON utility class from Unity. And first of all, we're going to create a new scene. So let's just go right click, create scene. This is going to be the JSON saving scene. Let's create an empty game object, JSON save, and center it at 000. And then let's create in our scripts data folder a new C sharp script. And that's going to be the JSON saving script. Don't forget to attach the JSON saving script to the JSON save game object. And then let's open it up. If you weren't here for the player prefs video, we have created a player data class, which basically holds our data. A gist to the entire class is linked in the description below, as well as a GitHub repository with, with everything you could ever need from this video. Let's continue with the JSON saving class. First of all, we're going to need a reference to our data. So we're going to have a private player data, player data field right here. And then we're going to have two string variables, private string, with one of them, which is path, which is just going to be an empty string. And the other one is going to be the persistent path, also an empty string. And then we're going to create two sort of helper methods just for nice, clean code. One of them is going to be the create player data method. This simply creates new player data. So this is going to be player data equals new player data. And then we can fill this out. So for example, string Nico, and we're going to have 200 health, 10 mana and level three. And then sort of a second helper method, which is going to be the set paths method. For this method, we actually need to be using something else up here. So we're going to be using the system.io namespace. And then instead of the set paths method, we're going to set path equal to application dot data path plus path dot old directory separator char plus save data dot json. So this is the normal path. This will point towards the asset directory inside of Unity. And then we also have the persistent path, which is going to be the application dot persistent data path plus once again the path dot old directory separator character plus save data dot json. The reason I'm having two paths here is because the path itself is really nice to basically take a look at the JSON file inside of our assets folder. And the persistent path is the path that you should use once you actually ship the game. This is where you should save your data. We're going to take a look where this is in just a little bit. First of all, let's also call the create player data as well as the set paths methods instead of our start method right here. And then let's continue. We're going to need a method to save the data. So this is going to be the public void save data method. Make it a little bit more readable. We're going to have a save path string, which for now is going to be just equal to path. And then we're going to make a debug.log saving data at the save path. And now on to how do we use the JSON utility class? I already hear you. Oh my God, the, the player press was so easy. The JSON utility is probably going to be really hard. It, it actually isn't. We're going to have a string called JSON and that's going to be equal to JSON utility dot to JSON. And then we're just going to put the player data object in there and that's it. Congratulations, we have created a JSON string. We can now also debug this. So we're just going to debug out the JSON string right here so that we can see what is actually going to be saved. And then we're going to be using a stream writer to basically write this. So we're using stream writer, writer called writer is equal to a new stream writer with the save path. And then we're going to say writer dot write. And then we want to write the JSON a string right here. And that's already it for the save data method. The load data method is almost as easy actually load data. In this case, we're going to be using a stream reader or reader which is equal to a new stream reader. And this is going to be from path. We'll once again have a string JSON. And in this case, we're going to say read to end. So reader read to end. And then we're going to create a new player data variable here. Player data equals player data data equals JSON utility dot from JSON. And then inside of the angled brackets, we can put in the class that it's supposed to create here. And that's of course the player data class from the JSON string, which is inside of the string JSON. To have it all together, let's also do data.toString to see what he has actually read in. And those are the two methods that we need to save and load data. Now let's also add the input here. So input.getKeyDown keycode.s to save the data. So save data. And then if input.getKeyDown keycode.l to load the data. Let's first of all take a look at where the path saves our file. 
Let's start it and press the S key. And as you can see, saving data at E YouTube Unity, saving and loading assets, save data. Hmm. So where is it in the assets folder right here? Well, sometimes you have to actually right click and then send refresh in order for this to show up. As you can see, the JSON file has now been saved inside of the assets folder. And we can also see that this is the string that it has saved. Name, Nico Health 200, Mana 10, and level 3. And if I'm just quickly clearing this and press L, then as you can see, it can also read it out. Just so that we have it, let's also put both of those to the persistent path. So both the save and the load data to the persistent path. And let's see where this is. If I press the S key now, after we have changed it to the persistent path, we can see now it's actually saved in my app data folder under tutorials by Kalpen Joe, saving data, save data.json. If you tried this, what this probably say is default company slash the name of your Unity project, but you can change that. First of all, let's exit play mode by going to edit, project settings, player. And then as you can see under player, you can specify a company name and a product name. And that is going to be exactly the folder structure that it's going to use. So it's going to be company name slash the product name, and then whatever file name you put in. And just to show you that the loading also works, if I press L, then as you can see, Nico is at 200 HP with 10 mana, they have reached level three. Right, and that is basically it for this tutorial right here. I can really only say it once again, the JSON utility class is insanely easy to use and it is very versatile and saving data in JSON files is also just a very nice thing because it's also human readable. And if you've previously seen the player prefs video, then you will probably agree that the JSON utility class is not more complicated than the player press. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. I would of course very much appreciate a like. Otherwise, all the assets are linked in the description below and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. So yeah.